this theory goes is, um, first off, when you have a liquid and you put it in a silo, you'll see that, uh, have you ever seen like water bins out or like oil bins, like out or compared to silos, like grain silos? The grain silos are really tall and the reason they're like that is because grains actually exert force on the walls instead of just downward. So that way they take advantage of that by making it really tall, whereas uh, water bins or anything like that, they're a lot wider because they need bigger diameters so and more surface area so that force is distributed a little bit better. You can see that if we start putting some pellets in here. This top number is the force that's felt just on the very bottom, and then this is the weight of the entire, the entire material. Is it? As you can see, I mean, it's not very much right now. If we get it filled up all the way, it's a lot more. But this number is going to be always be. So this is the weight this of one. the material. The weight of the material we can't see at the bottom. So only the weight of the material at the bottom is this much. The remaining weight of the material is transported to the wall. So that is a Janssen theory.